My trench hog bump board finally came in today, so I got the last piece so I could start this uh, pickerel tournament finally. I was uh, looking at a video the day before I got this uh, trench hog, uh, mostly because I wanted a picture of it, and I ran into a video and it talked about uh, things where this lacked and how to make it better for for tournaments so I, I watched the video and that's what talked about these uh these uh marks needing to be done in i didn't do a very good job on some of the spots you can see there but as i got to the end i got better at it a little bit uh but i, I did that And the other thing the video talked about uh, was that it's kind of flimsy and it breaks. And I agree with that. What they did, what they did in that one video I saw was put wooden dowels in here and kind of glue them in to stiffen it up again a little bit. And the one guy put wooden dowels up to about here and then put this flotation stuff here so it would float if it fell in the water. But uh, a few days ago, I was shooting my, my bowl in here because it's cold outside. And I actually, it wasn't sitting here, by the way. It was sitting over here. I, I cleaned up. Well, let me see. It wasn't sitting here. It was sitting here. This whole pile was sitting here. I don't want you to think I missed by that much. <laughs> But I was shooting and I and I missed and I hit the cement there. Uh, wasn't bad. One miss out of all the shots I made. But uh, either way, what came of it was this carbon fiber arrow. I already took the fleshing off. Uh, it kind of smashed right here. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that. So anyway, my plan is to get the Dremel tool there and cut that off, cut this in half, and then use that. So I'll be carbon fiber stiffener and then glue it in there just like that. I don't know if the little pieces I'll have will be enough, but it's got to do something to stiffen it up a little bit. But either way, that's my plan. All right, so here's the finished product. I colored in the lines so that they can be seen easier in pictures for the tournament. Uh, I glued in this uh, carbon fiber arrow shaft. It, it worked pretty good. It, it's a lot stiffer than it was before. And I also made four sizes of my uh, you know, identifier, I guess you can call them. Uh, I made them different sizes and covered them in tape so they're kind of waterproof. Uh, I made four sizes because I'm not sure. I've never fished in one of these tournaments and I can see it might be a pain in the butt to measure a toothy, crazy fish like a pickerel. But uh, I just got different sizes to facilitate anything that it might run into. and. That's the finished product. So wish me luck on this uh, tournament. Thanks for watching and please like Mega's Fish and Facebook page.